Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add slides in Keynote and kind of um, manipulate how the organization of your presentation goes. So let's go ahead and open up a presentation. And so adding a slide is very, very simple. And so all it is is add, clicking the plus sign. See this plus sign with the little box around it down on the bottom left? This is where you add slides. And so depending on the theme you chose, it gives you a couple of different options. So one's just kind of like a title screen, one's got a title screen with an image, with dates. Um, some are just more of presenting pictures, more of presenting like bullet points. Uh, so let's click on that one. Now you could double tap here to edit, and just be like test, test. So it kind of already gives you a kind of a layout of how to do it. And click that again, and let's select, um, Let's click this guy. So this is just a basic big image. You can actually tap this, and you can click on. Oh, it's kind of a, oh. So see how it's double. When I double tapped it. It shows that it's actually a, there's a mask on there. I'll click done, and then if I click this plus sign, you can add a different. You can add a different image. So let's say with this guy, and then if you wanted to do it, you could just match this guy here, and kind of make it so that's the whole image. So let's go ahead and delete that out of there. Now that shows you how to add a slide. Now let's show you how to kind of manipulate them or organize your data. So let's say let's say these three slides right here, three, four, and five, they're all part of a specific spot of my presentation. And this is not really for in terms of presenting it, but more just for your own benefit of how to kind of get everything to kind of organize together. So the first one is just, I'm gonna show you how to just move a slide around. So they're like, oh wait, I want this slide. I don't want this here. But instead of having to copy, delete it, and cut it out, you can just actually click and hold, see how it kind of rises up, and then you can change where it sits. So let's say I wanted it actually after slide five. Now, then it automatically renumbers it for you. And so let's when I was talking earlier about organizing and grouping it, so let's say I want these three, four, and five to all be kind of together. So what I can do is see how the white line kind of pops up of where I can put it. So it's lined up on the edge of two. So let's go, I want to under three. So now when I'm kind of on number three, see how it kind of indents a little bit? Now it's on, it's on there. So let's do the same thing for number five. Now I don't want it to do it, I don't want to be a specific well, I can show you that there see see how now now three and four both have arrows if I click that little arrow it kind of organizes it so like let's say you have a presentation that has a hundred different slides on it it's hard to go through and change like oh where what slide number was that but if you let's say you've got all these under uh, a specific section you could click that and click that again and you could just really move them around so let's say three or four and five are all part of slide number three so now I do that, those are all under there. And it's really just for organizational purposes. It doesn't really serve any other function in terms of how the presentation works. It's just for your own benefit of organizing how your slides actually work. And so that's kind of it. And you, all you can do is switch it right back. And now see how those arrows are gone? And so that's basically it for how to kind of add slides and present them there. And then the last thing I want to show you is just, I kind of showed you this already, is when you first click on a slide, for when you click on it once, it selects it and brings that up. If you click it again, it then brings up your little tools. So cut, copy, delete, skip, and transition. If you click skip, see how it folds it up there? So it's going to, when you're doing your presentation, it's automatically going to skip that slide. If you double tap it again, don't skip. brings it right back up. So that's handy if you've got some specific slides that you want to show one group of people but not the other group of people. So uh, that's basically it. If you have any questions, make sure to email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or go to our website, yourmachelpers.com help and enter your questions there and we'll be able to get back to you right away. Thanks.